Good afternoon and welcome back to Places in Ontario, Canada. We're here in the northern Bowmanville area along Totten Road and Darlington Circle. And this is an old, very old, if I remember correctly, it's an abandoned mushroom farm. Definitely not the first one here. I always say that when I see graffiti. I just may walk in one of those doors and have a peek. I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to choose this door. Because it looks the safest on the ground to peek in. I'm going to hope there's no turkey vultures or anything in here. I've made this reference before. You have to join up and go have a look at my Markham, Ontario, Canada video where a turkey vulture came out of a barn and circled above me. That was a scary time. But anyway, we're here in Bowmanville. See, I see a lot of stalls and things like that in here. And I don't think the light really helped that much. Almost looks like it's a. I was told it was a mushroom farm. I'm going to walk along here now that I see inside the concrete wall here. You can see the sun's going down. It's around 4 o'clock at the end of November in 2021. Just a giant concrete room. Some big tires in the back. I was kind of slow walking in because if you were here alone and saw that hanging on the wall, you may take your time. Or a jacket with frozen ice on it. This property is for sale now. peeking in the odd time to have a look. Oh yeah, there's been a party here before I got here. You can tell right there. I'm going to put the camera on pause here for a second because it seemed to have gone blurry. Well, I'm back. It was just blurry a little bit, but that's what I was referring to. There was a party before I got here. Budweiser. What do they say? The king of beers or something? I can't remember. I'm not a beer drinker. But. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the, uh, the old mushroom farm. Oh, my. I didn't think the adventure was going to be this adventurous. Wow. I don't know. Wow, that's lots of garbage here. But I'll tell you something. That's just creepy in itself right there. Yeah, you can see the old mushroom boxes. I think that's going to verify it for me, that it was a mushroom farm at one time. But, as I mentioned, it is for sale. So, yeah, you can see right here some mushroom containers. So, I'm not sure if I need any more verification for that. But... Again, I just stumbled upon it. I was driving by, and there it was. And I've seen it several times driving by over the years. We even have a 
front of some sort of a truck. Looks like an 18 wheeler, lots of garbage bins. And God knows what's in those containers. I'm just making it spookier than it is. But, as we come out, this video is going to be a little longer than usual. There's another question I won't ask. But there are new tanks here, so it's interesting. It is abandoned long ago. Let's see if I can do a walk around here. There seems to be a newer building here, but with the garage door open. But I think everything's been abandoned by now. There is new lumber in there though, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, here's the, uh, the back of this old mushroom farm. Have a little peek in here. Bicycle tire here on the ground. Another jacket. So I think somebody's working here. Got some coffee over there and a refrigerator. A mattress. Keep moving. These are all the old separate areas for growing mushrooms. I'm seeing this for the first time, just as you, the viewer, are, so I don't know what I'm looking at. If I pan the camera too fast, just go back a little bit and put it on pause. So I'm about halfway down in the back here. I'll do a 360 degree visual for you. Some sort of a ventilation hole at one time. Well, there's, there's the metal part. Oh, right. This is, I looked in that doorway earlier. So this is just the, the top area. Hmm, interesting. So I don't know if there's many mushroom farm fans out there. But, it is different. Oh, there's a, the hood of a John Deere tractor top. And some old chocolate milk, but you don't want that. So as you look in the back here, it just looks like an old building that was torn apart that may have been on this side at one time. And, if I'm correct, and I am, that boat is going nowhere. Sherway Marine Sails in Toronto. I'll definitely have to put that in the description. That is interesting. Funny thing is, I, I have a friend with me today who's waiting in the car. And I told him, I said, you know, if we were driving along and we saw a field with an old boat in it, 
I'll I'll pull over and film stuff like that. Wait till I show them the old boat that's back here. That's crazy. And lots of junk back here. The forecast this weekend for the end of November 2021 is snow. That is, looks like, and it is, a complete set of tires with the axles on them. There's one. There's another one. So that's where we just were, walking along there. Now you can see the all the old junk here and a hose that starts there and then somehow winds its way through the earth. I'm not even sure why I filmed that. But, there you go. And of course, a place like this, you can't have a place like this without an old oil drum. So, small concrete side of one of the buildings here. Walk through the weeds. Get back to the clearing here. And that's the old mushroom farm. If you'd like to subscribe to Places in Ontario, Canada, please do. You can do so, as always, in the bottom right corner, right there. When you go on YouTube, you'll be notified of our new posting, which usually goes up every three days at 12 noon Eastern. And we just started an Instagram account, Places in Ontario, Canada. So if you go over there, we've got lots of videos there. They're under a minute long, but you won't see them here on the YouTube channel. So, as I leave you from the mushroom farm, You can answer this question because I can't. Why is this here? That's just creepy. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye.